Okay, Aquarius, let's see what we have for you. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, holy moly, Page of Cups. Wow. So you're currently with your soulmate. And you're in love. Like big time love. Like mutually in love. Wow. 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 Yeah. So, and your person's like sure about it. Like they're wanting to move forward. I think they've been in contemplation about something. I've been debating about um, taking this to the next, you know, whatever that is, next step, next level, but they feel the same as you do. Like I said, the feelings here are mutual. Um, and they're going to be speaking their truth. If they haven't told you how they feel about you, they will be telling you how they feel about you very, very soon. Like uh, this month. Relationship. So, yeah, I do feel like they've been a little shut out. Like they've been keeping them, their feelings to themselves. But there's, you know, they've been trying to, you know, do I really feel this way? Do I feel this way? Is this really happening to me kind of thing? And I feel like they're going to be communicating that to you. It's going to trigger this relationship to like, there's going to be movement, uh, maybe to the next level relationship. I feel like this is you guys, the chariot, sorry. Um, really going at this together. And I feel like you're a really strong couple too. Um, this might be a short reading. <laughs> um, you guys are definitely in a good place. Just very well balanced. I feel like you guys are a good uh, pair. Definite, definite soulmate connection here is what I'm getting. And they're just ready to move forward with you in a fast, furious kind of way. And they're really going to talk about it. You know, they're really going to tell you the truth about it. Um, I feel like this person's been a little shut off with the um, Four of Pentacles. Like maybe you thought they were a little, um, or maybe this has been you guarding your feelings. You know, both of you could have been like, oh, I do feel this way, but I'm not going to tell them about it. But that's going to that's gonna end this month. Um yeah. So no matter what people think here, you're you're really um I think you've been trying to get their attention. You've got their attention. Uh, four of wands. Like I said, taking this to the next level here with them. Uh next level of the relationship, next level of commitment, just um really forward movement, the emperor taking control. This is all about control. Um knowing how things are going, just being in control of everything, um, getting really good energies from you guys, uh, wish fulfillment, uh, finally reaching an equilibrium. Holy crap. You guys have excellent cards. Um, temperance. This is temperance in other tarot, uh, equilibrium in my Celtic tarot. Um, so this is like a balance of emotions, just, um, self-control, Using your gut instincts, using your intuition, everything's guiding you toward this wish fulfillment. It can't get any better than this. Ten of Cups. So as far as longevity, happiness, um, this is just, uh, so if you've been iffy, I don't think you have been. Your person may have been on the fence. Or this could be flip-flop since this is general. But I do see some twos here. So they've been trying to weigh things out, or you have, um, trying to balance. But there's no doubt now. There's no doubt about where this is going, where they want this to go. Because the universe is also telling you, with the Wheel of Fortune, that this is definitely going in the right direction. And you guys are going to be putting some a lot of work in. I just keep pulling all these positive cards, like upcoming right off the bottom of the deck. I could go on forever. So, I don't see anything. If you've been, like I said, if you've been iffy, don't be. If you've been in doubt, don't be. If they haven't spoken about their feelings, they're going to. If you haven't, you will, because this guy says so. And this is, this is, it's triggering movement. And this is, 
this is you guys together. You know, the yin and the yang. Um, very good pair. Very good pair. I don't see any need to clarify. I'm going to pull some romance angels for you, though. So, I, yeah, I do feel like one of you, um, you know, have been on the fence a little bit about, you know, just about exposing, making themselves vulnerable. Um, you know, trying to hold their, you know, kind of trying to play the I'm um, not so emotional card and it's not really worked out. Passion, romance angels. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Woohoo! Yeah, see? Let it in. Let that passion in. Wow, Aquarius. You guys are on top of it this, this month. On top of it. On top of it. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Wow, and the bottom of the deck. Wedding. What? Wedding? This situation involves marriage. Are you thinking about marriage? Is that what you've been on the fence about or your person? Holy moly. Holy moly. You know what? I'm going to pull a clarifier for that because I'm just curious. <laughs> I just want to see what comes out here. What's up with this wedding? What's up with this wedding card? Is that where they're going with this? Is that what their person's been trying to decide? Hell yeah, it is. Ten of Cups, again, in another deck of cards. Came out right on top of that wedding. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, no longer on the fence. No longer on the fence. What? Wow. I can't even believe this. Um, Four of Wands. So, you have the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands on the wedding Romance Angels card. Um, I hear wedding bells, Aquarius. I see a proposal for real. Valentine's Day is coming up, guys. What are you planning? Oh, boy. I don't want to be a spoiler. Spoiler alert. Somebody's getting engaged. The, I, just, I keep pulling cards. The star. Wish granted. This is like ultimate wish granted. You guys are so soulmates. Like, I'm surprised that the soulmate card didn't pop out in my romance angels. Instead, it gave me wedding. I guess that's, that's good enough. Oh, yeah. Moving forward fast with the eight of wands. Um, so, yeah, this is going to happen quickly. Like, this month is going to be really busy for you. Really, really busy. Either you're proposing or they're proposing. I'm telling you, there's going to be a proposal. Wow, look at that. Ace of Wands. Whew, you guys are on fire. Fire. You could be dealing with a fire sign. That's um, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. You do have Earth, though in your reading. So you're, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, actually, there's a lot of earth in this reading. But there's water and there's wands. There's a little bit of everything. So um, I do feel strongly, though, that it could be a fire sign. Tor uh, a Vir um, gosh, I keep saying Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Maybe it's earth sign. Yeah. Wow. I could go on forever. Ace of Cups. Man, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, the star. Okay. Uh, and the lovers was on the bottom of the deck. Okay, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So, I'm going to say congratulations in advance. <laughs> Definitely comment below and let me know. Because this is amazing. I've never, I've never seen a reading like this. Wow. So, well, congratulations, Aquarius, and uh, I hope you say yes, because this person is, like, perfect for you, or you for them, or vice versa, since it's general, but 
Okay, so that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I am sorry that this reading is so short, but I really don't know what else to say.